And down he goes. Hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that's a nice detail. If you stand in the, if you use the environment correctly, you can actually stand in the way of the attacks. Yeah, I sort of figured something before. You guys could not hit a martyr. Well, that's just nice. By the way, is this still working? Hold on, stand back. I'm going to try a little something. Let's see where this lovely fires. Wait. Foot. Let me see. Oh, I didn't notice that one was... Okay. Fire away. All right. Commencing. Fire. Okay, who can catch it? Let's see who can catch it. Yeah, apparently no one. Well, not necessarily. It was sort of nice to just stand there. Fire the cannon or... Yeah, in this case, trebuchet. There seems to be a lot of char just down inside the wall, so we may still be able to use it to our advantage if we play smart. Yeah. Now comes the little difficult part. They are beginning to light okay. up. Okay. Yeah, oh, back to the trebuchet. Back to the trebuchet. They're coming out to defend the area. Fall back. They're pulling. Okay. Gotta give it to the job. They pull out a number to defend the area. All right, you just commence fire. It's not going to save them, however, because we have this on our side. Hold on, may I fire, please? You had the last one. All right, commencing fire. I wonder what it is we're firing at. Them. I think it is actually uh, history's greatest version of the firebolt. Ah, oh, Matthew. looking sword actually would you Seems please attack the martyr he's almost healing faster than I can damage him yeah he died yeah. and really three against one is guaranteed to succeed for the three of them yeah and that blade warrior really had a nice sword that I totally wanted to check out all right there's still some uh oh See if you can run into the middle. I will commence fire then. I don't think it's necessary. We just have to play smart. And yeah, but mode. having a freaking great trebuchet also helps. Yeah, maybe. Uh... What do you want help before you're overwhelmed? Right. Well, we're actually winning this fight, so it's not all that bad. Goddamn fire fetishists. You know, with all the fascination about fire and all the warfare, you would really get the feeling that there was some kind of hellish legion. Maybe they just worship fire. Hmm. I mean, Ascalon Escalo has a god of fire. Maybe all their gods are gods of fire. Maybe, I don't know. In any case, there's only three left and we can handle those three. Yeah, but even if they worship fire, I do not really believe child women are hot. I don't know, I haven't seen child women. Or maybe I have and don't know. I don't know. I mean, they could look like the males, for all we know. <laughs> and there are very few things that can disturb me, and that is one of them. Okay. By the way, I have something that you might identify for me if you feel like it. Sure, just drop it off. A smiting rod. Behind you. Uh, excuse me a moment, just salvaging something. Yeah. 
Identify. Okay, Hulls casting times and spells. Nothing spectacular. Hey, another Escalonian chest. Surprise. Okay, and they got a they got a command up there. Crazy unforgiven, accompanied by a Marchia. Go for the Marchia first. Okay? I will. Whoa, light automatic. Now go for, the, go for the leader. He's a mage. Could be trouble. Mages are always trouble. Yep. Question is, is the trouble for us or the trouble for the enemy? In this case, trouble for us. Now we just need to finish up the Starker. Yes. Bonk. And stuff is happening. Nice. I think we retook them all. Let us see what happens now. Hello there. It's the prince, I think. The time for action has come. No more cowering behind this wall. From now on, we take the fight to our enemies. Is prince that wise? Rurik. Prince Rurik. What is it? Prince Rurik. We are victorious, but it has cost us greatly. Huh? During their retreat, the Char took prisoners. Several of our wounded have been carried off. <sighs> Please say they took the king. I doubt it. Ascalons will live in fear of these beasts no more. We march to the north to free our brothers and take back that which has been taken from us. Very motivating speech, but uh, did you not suffer a quite great loss in troops? Yep. We did. Apparently we're going to push on anyway. Alright, we landed in Frontier Gate, so let's hear what he has to say. Well, Master Rick has some information. King Adelbert himself has ordered us to hold the Frontier Gate, and that's what we intend to do. The world could come... Oh, okay, you already... <laughs> Runes of Sumia. You are now one of those Vanguard soldiers looking for Prince Rurik, aren't you? He didn't wait for you, but I think you still have a chance to catch up to him. The prince headed north to pursue the fling Char into the ruins of Sumia. Follow the road from the frontier gate to Sumia to rejoin the prince and rescue those carried off by the Char. I directed Captain Miking up the way to not too long ago. He might be able to direct you further. Well, we've already been there once, so we'll just travel there later. We'll do that next time. Okay, so we'll just trade and then we will be shutting down for today. This has been Eric Cobra. Hello? Yeah, I am still here. Oh, um, this has been Eric Cobra. And running out. I <laughs> actually just now taking the quest, so uh, yeah. You just do that. Slow. Yeah, it doesn't I was matter. Just a bit slow. And this has been Let's Play Guild Wars Blind. See you around, folks. See you around next time for more warfare and hopefully getting on with the plot.